All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So uh, today I want to take a look at one of the main categories for LR, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks, this very elite Dokkan Fest LR we just got. They are a new leader for the Power Wishes category. Power Wishes, um, if you guys remember, was basically kind of like the main team or the main leader skill of 2023. It was a category that came out at the start of the year with the anniversary uh, here with the LR Goku and Super Saiyan GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. If you guys remember, at the time, Power of Wishes wasn't that great when it first dropped. Um, but then... As the year goes on, and then God Goku comes out, and Bulma comes out, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku comes out, you know, Sword of Hope Trunks, like, we just got continued buffs. I mean, if you look at the Carnival LR and the Dokkan Fest LR time slots, I mean, Power of Wishes hits so much. The December Carnival LR was Power of Wishes. Two of the four Worldwide Download Celebration LRs uh, in 2023 were Power of Wishes. One of the two major LRs of Tianabata that year was Power of Wishes, right? The Golden Week Part 2 LR was Power of Wishes. Um, and then three of the four, uh, you know, anniversary LRs that year were also Power of Wishes. And then Orange Piccolo, who came out right before the 8th anniversary, also on Power of Wishes. So, uh, a team that was buffed like crazy. Now, it, of course, has fallen off quite a bit this year. Um, but that's just sort of the natural progression of things. Uh, what happens is, you know, year to year, it, it's a gotcha game. There's power creep, right? Things change, you know, characters, again, fall off. They're not quite as good as they were. You know, again, th these things do happen um, with extreme regularity, basically, right? So, I, this team is not what it once was, where it was like, you know, pretty much the best team in the game. But it's now going to be ultra effective. And all the characters on this team definitely have kind of like a rejuvenation thanks to the LR Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. Um, I think the only characters that, you know, wouldn't get like a massive buff from this character would be characters who either are just like completely don't like work the bat. I mean, so like if we talk about like Tech Fusion Zamasu or like some of the Goku Blacks or something like that, they definitely could work. But I mean, these are like big bad bosses characters. You know, typically big bad bosses characters you want to run with other big bad bosses characters to see them with their max effectiveness, right? Is is usually what we're gonna want to happen. There, of course, would be other characters who, you know, while good on other teams, like physical rose. He needs a lot of Super Bosses characters on the team itself. So, I mean, that could hold him back a little bit. I mean, if we were able to get, you know, several Super Bosses characters, I guess we could give it a try, though, right? Because it's like Rosé does need, um, what is it? I believe it's five Super Bosses characters in order to fully build up that damage reduction of his, which is, is very important. So if we had full Super Bosses lineup plus the... LR, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks as our friend and, and leader, maybe we could rock it, but all of the other kind of like, like Super Saiyan characters, like a lot of them have just been buffed massively. Um, now, in terms of like how this category is going to continue to improve moving forward, um, I do think that there are numerous options that we probably will see. I mean, they're always going to go back to the well with like, you know, Buu Saga Gohan. Um, I expect we'll see a lot more of him. Golden Frieza only has a Movie Bosses version. If we take a look, he is on Movie Bosses. Remember, this Golden Frieza is not on Super Bosses. This is the Movie version. So, you know, if we get a Super Bosses Golden Frieza, you know, he, of course, would be on Power of Wishes. Um, I feel like they're, they're definitely not done with Sword of Hope Trunks. It's funny, we did just get a Carnival LR of him, but I, I just, man, his animations were just really not... I think, like, what needed to be done for that character. So we certainly could see that. 
Um, I suppose they could redo the, you know, the Super Spirit Bomb in some type of way. This obviously was very grand, but they could do another version of that. Now, Namek Goku is a big one. I, I think we could really dive deep back into the Namek saga. You know, new Super Saiyan Goku, some sort of potential like Goku and Piccolo unit that would have a Spirit Bomb, right? We could see that. Um, I, I think that they could redo this Spirit Bomb Goku right here you know, the one verse Frieza to make it really, really potentially intriguing. Um, there is also, of course, you know, anytime Goku uses the Spirit Bomb, like any Spirit Bomb character ends up on this category. So we could always get another version because the Spirit Bomb that this Goku does, the animation is not really super crazy from when he fights Jiren. We could always have that redone. Saiyan Saga, I, I mean, we need a proper Dokkan Fest LR. I still think that, like, Goku, Krillin, and Gohan or something like that could be, like, an LR. Like, they just added... Like, I remember, you know, for years I talked about... I, like, I was excited for them to release, you know, Goku, Krillin, and Gohan from Saiyan Saga that would do the Spirit Bomb. And then they just kind of, like, tacked it onto this LR. I was, I remember being shocked. Like, damn, like, okay. Like, they just kind of, like, tacked it onto him there. Um, but if we go through, there there are a lot of different characters um, that very clearly are, are going to be getting even more, right? So, in terms of LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the reason he's on it is because, remember, they essentially do the god ritual to get him to full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, this guy from the Shadow Dragon Saga with his Dragon Fist, when he does the Dragon Fist to seemingly kill Omega Shenron, that would be an awesome, um, like, like redo Dokkan Fist. If they redid this guy with the Dragon Fist, I think that would be exceptional. So, just looking through it, there's a lot. Orange Piccolo, we'd need a new Orange Piccolo. I do think this is one of those categories that we're going to continue to see, just get, you know, continue to get buffed and continue to look good for probably the foreseeable future. Um, one of the big things as we move from year to year is just that these teams get new leaders because a, a team can really struggle when you're using an old leader because the leader is old and then the friend leader is potentially going to be old as well, right? So let's do a run with Power Wishes, uh, see what just like a full Power Wishes team looks like um, under the umbrella and the new buffs of the LR Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. All right, here we go. All right, so I did decide to bring the Gohans. Of course, we got to get a little bit of love for them. Uh, kind of tough opening rotations. Hmm, so we have the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. Uh, kind of it, both of them in that second turn which means we're not going to have the elite buffs on this initial turn right here. Okay. We don't have to worry about Tech Gohan getting his actual super because Bulma's support is going to help. Let's hit that. Remember, Bulma's giving Tech Gohan Brainiacs. Uh, I think Tech Gohan probably would take a significant amount of damage right away, but, I mean, we did kind of just load into not a great situation here. Okay. Um, this team will, will be able to work effectively, but... Uh, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks are, are massive for it, right? Like, on this turn, none of their support is up. And that's where the team, you know, really begins to feel different. I think we should be good. All of these characters should be fine. As long as GT, Goku, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I think as long as they give us three super attacks, they probably will be okay. I, I, do, I am planning on doing one of the uh, team rotation, like, kind of like semi-long videos for uh, GT, Goku, and Vegeta soon. Um, I think especially, too, with their revive, um, you know, th th this is definitely a character that could be used well. So many characters... Please get it? Nice. Okay, good. Uh, so many characters these days are standby characters who clash with each other. The thing that's great about GT, Goku, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, their standby does not clash. We could use their standby along with Goku, Gohan, and Trunks, or... With the Majin Buu Saga Super Super Bomb. No hidden potential system. Wow. Okay. Alright, 
All right, I would like to get the two Gohans next to each other, but I think our first priority should definitely be to get the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks is split up. Uh, we got pretty lucky with the orb split, though. By the way, look at Ageo Ultimate Gohan. Looking good with all the support. Um, I probably could and should do a video specifically for um, Ageo LR Ultimate Gohan, by the way. Because, um, I mean, he... He probably is a character that's a little bit better than people give him credit for. Because, I mean, people do go crazy loving AGL Broly. And it's like, Ultimate Gohan at times can have some similarities to him. No doubt about that. I, I think what separates them is that when Broly's transformed, it's like all of those attacks just have such a high chance to crit. Right? Whereas, like, Ultimate Gohan... Um, he does not have crit built in at all, right? I, I think he doesn't have any crit at all. Uh, 18 million right there at the start, huh? Let me double check that. Ultimate Gohan. My brain is telling me LR Ultimate Gohan does not have any crit in his kit. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. Even his active skill does not give him guaranteed crit. Yep. So, that, that, that's, that's kind of the thing. Yeah, I'm, this is one of the few characters um, I just gave, like, a pure offensive build to. This LR Ultimate Gohan. Um, it definitely felt like the best move with him. His kit, it's a little... It, it's definitely a little wonky. We're getting a lot of supers right here, though. Okay. He's putting in that work this time. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, now, we do have LR Super Saiyan 4... Or Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta next turn. Uh, Gohan, well, this is double digits, right? Um, they are, them in slot seven is really bad. They could be just absolutely crushed into pieces if we're not careful that LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, right? We're going to have to be very cautious with them. Um, cause them, they, they, they are very weak defensively, basically whenever they're in base form. Um, cause we, this is the, the new supreme magnificent battle ui goku stage so you know we do need to uh definitely respect them here uh and try and like just keep them out of harm's way really uh the gt goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta i mean we're probably not gonna see their standby unless we get it I mean, I guess if we take a lot of damage, which might not happen. Now, remember, moving forward, um, in the next, like, against Tech UI, he always super attacks in slot 2. That's something we have to keep in mind. Mm, that could be bad for us. The, the next rotation... The next rotation could be a problem. Uh, this rotation is a bit of a problem, too, huh? Uh... Huh... I, I guess we'll rock Bulma. I mean, my Bulma has a full dodge build, so... We'll hit this. Then this will open this up for them. Alright. Uh, if UI Goku super attacks right away, we could be in trouble. We got not great opening rotations. Uh, th again, the whole team is just centered around Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. So when you don't get them... Like, getting them on the same rotation is really bad. Because then we open up a hole where their support is not up, right? Which is not good. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this next turn. Again, this UI Goku, tech UI Goku in this next phase, he is scripted to only super attack in slot 2. He only supers in slot 2. So we know that's where Goku, Gohan, and Trunks have to go, presumably. But we'll, we'll see what it's going to look like. That means slot 1 could potentially be very scary for us. If anything, it would be best if we did not kill STR UI Goku right here, by the way. If for some reason we don't... Oh, nice, Tech Gohan. Very good. If we don't kill him right here, that would be super good. Um, because then that means we, we'd have, you know, the rotation with both Goku and Gohan and stuff like that. Or Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. Oh, I mean, certainly they're going to kill right here, right? We might not be able to get some of these standbys. Because they were in slot 7, so this is only one attack for them right here. Oh, nope. No crit. Okay. Again, if we don't kill, that would be so good. Although, if UI Goku then supered, he would one-shot us. Okay, we got a crit right there, sure. All right, let's see. If they overload, if oh, UI Goku overloads attacks inside one, we're in trouble. Okay, never mind. We're good. Uh, I guess, I guess we could just... 
Well, we do need to get... Damn. Me and my bad luck with key is such a common thing, huh? Key orbs? Let me hit this and let me see what it looks like. We need them at 24 key. We got it. We got it. Perfect. Let's hit that. Um, EG Ultimate Gohan, I mean, he's not... We don't have to... There's no way he's going to get crushed from these normals, right? There's no way. Nah, he's guarding. He, he guards. Okay, so we'll do this. Um, yeah, again, this character, we're probably not going to see them get their standby. Because uh, they got the the bat, the short end of the stick. They got the bad version of the standby. Where, um, you know, at any point, both of them could activate it, what, once they fall below 50% HP? Um, but then there's a secondary condition... Which, for Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, it's easy. It's just attack four times, turn four. Boom. That's not tough. Uh, but then GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, not really the same thing. For them, they have to get hit four times. Which, I mean, how, you can't... They're, they build up damage reduction. I think even nowadays, I mean, especially with Goku, Gohan, and Trunks... They certainly would be an effective character in slot 2 and slot 3 with their d damage reduction defensive mechanic, for sure. Um, and then, of course, they also have their attack stacking, too. So, I mean, we could see them, you know, really begin to stack attack and be able to do a lot of damage, potentially against, like, LR, Goku, and Frieza, right? Who have their annoying damage threshold to worry about. Alright, so again, UI Goku only supers in slot 2 right there. So, even though there's a lot of attacks against each LR Ultimate Gohan right here... Uh, we know that it's not anything um, that's going to be a super attack, which would be devastating to us. Uh, now, remember, I do not have a dodge build on Ultimate Gohan right here. Okay, super. Oh, we're getting bad luck. I'm pretty certain he's double digit tanking, but I guess I'm not 100% sure. Because we have, right now, we have Bulma's support up. We have Goku, Gohan, and Trunks' support up. And then Goku, Gohan, and Trunks' uh, super attack effect. All of those support buffs are active for him. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Him next to Tech Ultimate Gohan, they transform, right? Um, I, we probably, I mean, if we're running LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, um, I mean, it certainly does work good. The only thing is, yeah, okay, so see, like, right here, right here, right here, right here. We need to use the standby right here. Um, th this is a rotation uh, that has happened a couple of times. So Goku, Gohan, and Trunks are a mega elite character, but there is one thing about them. And that's that you do need a movie hero or an all-out struggle character on rotation. And that's what unlocks an extra 15% damage reduction, but more specifically, the two-turn defensive buff. Now, at the moment, we do not have that. Neither Tech Gohan or Bulma, of course, are movies, and they're also not all-out struggle either. But we could do the standby with Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. Um... We can't even do the standby with Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta next turn anyway. So we're not even going to worry about that. Uh, should I transform Tech Gohan? Maybe transform Tech Gohan, put him in slot 1? Maybe. Uh, the other thing, too, is there's no int orbs, which means Goku, Gohan, and Trunks are not going to transform those, huh? Yeah, let's. Uh, we're going to transform Tech Gohan and then transform Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. しばらく中継しておくのは私に任せてください。うん、あっち。ありがとうございます。よし。All right, so we need to make sure to get them um, a lot of key spheres. Um, I had some people confused in the comment section yesterday. Now, remember, this Goku is uh, going to be a god defensively, but you have to get them to 24 key to unlock the damage reduction, right? I, I saw a lot, of, a lot of silly sailors confused in the comment section yesterday. Just, yeah, I'm here to help you guys out. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, let's hit this. Uh, well, we don't have five orbs for Bulma. Uh, that would be bad. She's not going to die to two normals. If she takes a ton of damage, we'll just get the revive anyway. Whatever, I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, that was kind of... We needed to prioritize orbs for Goku, for Super Saiyan Goku. So, I mean, that ended up hurting Bulma. I mean, that... The thing with Goku, Gohan, and Trunks, and with some of these characters, is orbs can dry up. And it's not misplays and not, you know, timing the orbs correctly and all the bullshit that people make as excuses for some of these stuff. Like, these are things that do happen, right? Like, orb changing, specifically rainbow orb changing, is very elite. But Goku, Gohan, and Trunks, I mean, they do physical orb changing. So, I mean, you can have that fail a lot, which... I mean, on th this was yet another turn where that did fail us. Um, it, it's going to happen. The thing that's good with them is as long as they have a line of type orbs, they don't specifically need physical. Like, they'll get away with it. No super on this turn. Okay, wow. Yeah, again, remember, UI Goku only supers in slot 2. Uh, I don't think Bulma will die, but we didn't get orbs, so... Ah, that's nothing. Okay, it's minuscule damage. Okay, Goku uh, and Vegeta should be fine here. Ah, uh, they are gonna get the extra hundred percent, dude. I, yeah, man, guys, dude, bro, please. I like, what is up with these orbs always? Uh, this is scary. At like, you have we have to respect that UI Goku is gonna super attack in slot two. They super all five times. They have the 50% damage reduction up, right? I'm a little nervous. Because I can't get them more key. We're just going to have to sit there. They they should be okay. They're going to get their 100% kicking in. Oh, you know what it was? Last turn with Super Saiyan Goku, we didn't get... Oof, okay. Okay. Uh, last turn with Super Saiyan Goku, we did not specifically get physical orbs with him. That's how he unlocks his two-turn defense. But, I mean, there was nothing we could have done. We the, the turn started, there was no physical orbs. And then there was no in orbs either, which is specifically what Super Saiyan Goku transforms when he transforms into... Um, when you go into the Super Saiyan standby, he specifically changes uh, in orbs into physical. But there was no physical orbs and no in orbs on the field for us. So, it was unfortunate. It happens. It can happen. Um, it's just that, you know, when that happens, and we're also running, like, some of these other characters who need a lot of key, you know, we, we certainly could get uh, punished for it. I do think that Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta should be fine. I mean, one normal is not going to be devastating to them. Uh, we are, of course, going to get their defensive support, plus their 18 key super attack effect, which is going to give nice defensive support as well. Looks like we're probably going to get the Miraculous Punch finish and the KO screen. That'll be fire. Let's go ahead and hit that, sure. Okay, nice. Yup, perfect. Alright, I would have really have liked to have gotten, like, some of the, the spirit bombs or something like that, but just, I mean, just the way the rotations broke, we didn't really get an opportunity to do that, right? With this character starting in slot 7, you know how it is. I really wish that would have been a super... I do have a cheeky amount of dodge on this character, so we could always just dodge. Hidden potential system, additional normal. Yeah. Okay, double normal. That's fun. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, not bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. So we have the, the Spirit Bomb Punch, and we have EGO Ultimate Gohan. Yeah, these boys are ready to go. You get the, the Ultimate Gohans next to each other, and, I mean, they can look very impressive on this team. All seven links activated. I mean, if we crit on the ultimate Gohan active, we could finish off right here. Let's give it a try. Not quite a finish job right there. Uh, definitely some decent damage. Let's take a look at what the defense is looking like there. Woo! You guys like that? My God. Yeah, when you when we pop that active, it makes his you know defensive support up right away. And that could really juice Tech Ultimate Gohan. We saw Tech Ultimate Gohan survive the, what is it, 5.6 million super that Goku and Frieza do? Something like that. Tech Gohan just straight up tanked it and lived. 
And I mean, you we could even do better. Boo Saga. I I mean I Boo Saga is is an okay team right now. I do think that the increase in difficult content that recently happened hurts the Boo Saga more than anything because I think the Boo Saga does not have an inner circle character like a you know a top five overall level character. Boo Saga does not have that. The best character on Boo Saga is probably the Angel Super Saiyan three Goku, but like you know he. He's not going to get you killed, but he won't be able to damage Goku and Frieza towards the end and be able to finish them off either. So, Boo Saga, you know, I mean, if they got, like, a really powerful, like, I don't know. Let's say that the the Carnival this year is, like, a, you know, just a Boo Saga character, a Boo Saga leader. Like, it would be really good for this team. Um, okay, so, here, let's uh, let's drop the Miraculous Punch right here. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and hit that right there. Bam. Just getting, uh, you know, some additional charges. Let's go ahead and hit this right here. Um, and then the Miraculous Punch. No way this Goku is surviving this bad boy. Bro, we didn't finish? This was the friend unit? What What's the crit looking like on you? Yeah, I hate it. I hate the build. I do. Um, just a quick little aside right here. This character is getting minuscule, minuscule value from additional in the potential system. Don't do it. I'm not going to sit here and sell you guys on dodge. Go full crit for this character. Don't do additional. Additional is giving you almost nothing. Crit will give you incredible value with this character because crits are quite a bit better. They are super effective against all types at 24 key. Back in the day, that was good enough. Super effective against all types, crit not even necessary, but it's not really how it works anymore. Um, so I would say put very minimal investment into additional and then go crit. Um, if you are, you know, a 5D chess player, of course, you can give your Goku, Gohan, and Trunks dodge. That does work as well, but... I assume a lot of you guys, you want to know the uh, alternative build to dodge, which would be full crit. But I will say this. I do not hate the idea of the exact equips this guy's got. I think all three of those equips is totally a W, right? So what is that? That's a six. So I think at best, this character should not have higher than 11 additional. At minimum, with the equips and the fact that they get the free five additional as a physical character, this, this should be 11. And then you put everything else into um, crit and dodge. That, I think, if you're trying to win, that would be the smartest way. Um, with their crits so low, um, I'm actually going to just... Uh, I'm not going to reset for crits or anything like that. Because um, their crit was only, what, 12? So they have a 24% chance to crit. So, I mean, that's it's a 1 in 4, basically. We'll, we'll just we'll just let Tech Ultimate go ahead and finish off. I would have liked it, but, you know, it is what it is. Funny enough, my... my um, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks do have quite a bit more crit, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. There we go. We're done. We're done. We're done. Power wishes. Um, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks are so powerful and they're designed in such a way that a lot of these older characters have good revitalizations. Um, there's a reason I was so excited when Bulma came out last year, and there's a reason I'm so excited with Goku, Gohan, and Trunks this year. A character like that really makes all the other characters around them just way better just a fantastic release right because I, I mean everyone knows about the two turn defensive support goku gohan and trunks give but don't forget they're also giving three key and 50 percent attack support too so goku gohan and trunks just an incredible character uh let me know what you guys think um but the power of wishes team is back although to be fair any build pretty much run by these two juggernauts uh, is going to be looking really solid.